Hello guys! In the previous videos we talked quite extensively about work, heat and energy. Now let's discuss what is a state function and what is a path function as these are very important definitions in thermochemistry. So a state function is simply a property whose value only depends on the present state of the system and it does not depend on the path by which the system arrived at state. On the contrary, a path function is a property whose value depends on the path by which the system arrived to that state. Okay, let me give you an everyday example. Let's say that today you have $1,000 on your savings bank account. Great job! But can I tell whether a month ago you had only $500 there, so you added an extra $500 to get to the $1,000, or maybe a month ago you had $1,500 there and you took off $500. I cannot, right? So today the state of your bank account does not depend on what happened before, does not depend on the path with which you got to this present state. Similarly, if you take a cup of room temperature T, for example, so this is T and it has a room temperature which is around 22 degrees Celsius, but I cannot tell where did you start. Maybe you started with a cup of really steaming hot tea and you just let it cool down. Or maybe you started with a cup of iced tea. Those are ice cubes. Okay, I'm not very good at drawing ice cubes, but this is iced tea. Okay, so maybe you started on this side, or maybe you started on that side, you anyway arrived to the room temperature T by either losing heat from your T or adding heat to your T. Now, the energy in your room temperature T does not depend on the path you took, it's going to have the same amount of energy, it doesn't matter if you started with a hot tea or if you started with a cold tea. However, you may not have lost only heat, maybe you did some work to cool down your tea. What if you started stirring your hot tea with a spoon, right? You can stir really, really fast and it's going to cool down faster. Or what if you were holding your iced tea or you were kind of shaking it around a little bit so there was some friction between the ice cubes, right? So it's not clear whether you got to the room temperature tea by simply heat or doing some extra work. So this tells me that indeed energy or internal energy is going to be a state function. So energy or internal energy is a state function, but work and heat are path functions. So it does not depend how you got to that state, the energy is always going to be the same. But depending on which path you took, the work and the heat might be different. The easiest way to distinguish between path functions and state functions is that when you have a state function is generally written with a capital letter, right? So a state function in this case E is a capital E, but path functions are written with lowercase letters just like lowercase w and lowercase q for work and heat. Okay, I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.